Summer is over. Okay, maybe I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit there, but I'll tell you what, the air that is coming next week across the eastern two-thirds of the country, the coolest air in weeks, if not months. Flash weather AI meteorologist Dave Downey with you, and I'll tell you what, buckle up for a preview of fall. I want to show you how low the high and low temperatures can go next week. Let's show you our Flash Weather Command Center. Highs today, pretty seasonable. 80s to 90s across the southeast and southern plains. But watch the yellows and some greens arrive. Oh, yeah. Across the upper Midwest on Monday. These are highs stuck in the low 60s in Wisconsin, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, close to Chicago. Chicago is going to be 15 to 20 degrees below average next week. And it continues Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that cooler air mass spreading across the southeast. I'm in Raleigh, 78 next Wednesday. That would be about 10 to 12 degrees below average here for the month of August. We will take it. This is our heat risk map available on the Flash Weather Command Center. Seven-day wet bulb globe temperature forecasting. Great for schools, great for any kind of athletic events. And this is our heat risk map we're showing you here. Highest today across the desert southwest, but watch the yellows and the orange evaporate east of the Rockies by next Wednesday and Thursday. And this is next Thursday Across the entire country, zero heat risk, at least east of the Rockies here. Absolutely incredible. This is the European Ensemble model, kind of a different way of showing you how much below average. This is surface temperature anomaly, so departure from average, a one-day running average next week. Here is Sunday. This is temperatures in the upper Midwest, 10 to 15 degrees below average and that just spreads east here's the day on tuesday look at this huge swath of below average temperatures from the central plains to the midwest all the way to pennsylvania next tuesday and wednesday i'm looking forward to this that's for sure and then it makes its way all the way to the southeast through next weekend next weekend of course week one of college football this is going to be one of the coolest week ones of college football we've had in years. If you're going to games, tailgating, enjoying the weekend outside, buckle up for an incredible Labor Day weekend ahead. Yep, Labor Day is next weekend, the unofficial end to summer, and summer going out, at least unofficially, on a very cool note. However, if we extend this out into the first week of September, forecast skill gets a little bit less. But with temperatures, there's always a little bit of forecast skill, even in the 10 to 14 day temperature range. There is a gradual warm up. It looks like here, this is the end of the first week of September. We'll likely have some form of a return of summer across the lower 48, especially east of the Rockies by the latter part of Labor Day week. Now, we got to talk about what the Climate Prediction Center is saying about this. They're agreeing. They, this is the 6 to 10-day temperature outlook, so basically how we're going to wrap up the month of August. Look at all of this blue. From Death Valley through the Four Corners, through Texas, all the way down to the Florida Panhandle. Yeah, look at all that blue. That's below average temperatures expected to wrap up the month of August. All right, to the tropics now. We've been talking about Hurricane Aaron for a while. Luckily, Aaron is moving out. You can see the cone here on a path to impact maybe Ireland next week, but Aaron is old news for the U.S. This area might move towards Bermuda, could bring some rough weather to Bermuda, but it's going to curve out to sea. And then we're also going to watch this system as it heads towards the Leeward Islands. This time of the year, though, systems this far south can struggle. Computer model guidance not too encouraged by the development chances of this batch of showers and thunderstorms. We'll watch it, but nothing to be too concerned about right now. Most of the computer model guidance is in firm agreement of, a, of no land threats through Labor Day weekend. Maybe a quick development chance Labor Day weekend out near the Cape Verde Islands right here in the eastern Atlantic. And then as we head into that first week of September, after the tropics take a bit of a break the next 10 days or so, 
There's likely going to be a reawakening in the deep tropics as well as in the Caribbean and potentially into the Gulf of Mexico. This time of the year, the weather is really quiet if there's nothing going on in the tropics and we're getting an awesome preview of fall next week. Get out and enjoy it. We here at Flash will be keeping an eye on the tropics, any sort of severe weather threats, but luckily we've got temperatures highs in the 60s in parts of the Midwest next week. You don't get severe weather with that. You might even have some lows in the 20s. Below freezing in northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. That's going to be fun to watch. Reminds us that winter is around the corner. Flash Weather AI, the leader, the pioneer in AI lightning prediction, hail prediction coming very soon. We're tracking the tropics all season long. Fun times ahead in terms of predictability that's never been done before. Stay with us. We'll keep you posted on the threats here in the U.S.